to the big debates because a study by Public First has found that parents now consider taking their children out of school for term time holidays as entirely socially acceptable. As figures from the Department of Education revealed that more than five million school days were lost in 2022 to term time holiday makers. School closures as a result of both the pandemic and teacher strikes have reportedly created a seismic shift in how fundamental parents view daily school attendance, with many also not being deterred by government fines for their children not attending school. Well, let's dig into this. Martin, let's just start with you, yes. because you are quite happy to take your children away during term time. Yeah, so it happened by accident because I worked all summer and wasn't able to take time off. And my children go to different schools. My daughter's nine, my boy's 14. So they have different holidays. Mm. My daughter has two weeks, my boy has one. And the week of overlap was the week he's meant to be in school. But I just looked at the prices and considering he has an exemplary attendance record, plus I took care of him for many months while teachers weren't at school because of COVID and they keep taking strikes. I just thought, do you know what? I'm going to go for the cheaper holiday. So I went ahead and booked it. How much cheaper was it? Well, I paid 2,700 quid for four, all inclusive to roads, and it would have been an extra 1,500 quid. So that's a good 50% more to go one week later. The same place, the same deal, the same people. 50% more expensive. To me, it became a no-brainer. OK, well, let's see if I guess think it's a no-brainer. We're joined by the Head of Education at the Centre for Policy Studies, Mark Lehane, I hope I've, I've said that correctly, mm. and the Director of Us For Them, Arabella Skinner. So, Mark, let's start with you, first of all. You've just heard what Martin said. Is he right? Is it a no-brainer to take your kids away during school term time? Well, I think what Martin said is what a lot of people feel, as that report found, and it's not really a surprise... Last year, one in nine kids on any given school day was off. Um, mm -hmm. And what I would say, given my experience as a head teacher in the past, was we'd done a really good job before COVID of convincing families of the importance of their child going in every day. School was reinforcing that message. The government was reinforcing that message. It's not really a surprise then that after a few years where, first of all, the government was saying to kids, you can't come to school and then don't come to school if you've got a sniffle because of COVID. And then with the teacher strikes, it's not a surprise after a few years of that, families decided it doesn't matter. But I'm afraid, Martin, <laughs> I think... People are wrong to take kids out of school for holidays or other stuff, because although it might not have a big impact on, on an individual child, and I get that, the impact on the class, and remember, school is a social thing, the impact on the class of a kid missing a day here, then another kid missing a day, and then another kid missing a day, it builds up over time. It's really hard to teach class well if they're never all there together. OK, Arabella, I already feel like I'm on the naughty step here. Are you going to add to my woes? I think what you're saying, Martin, is very much what we're hearing from our parents. And you have to remember that Us For Them came to life because we wanted our children back in school. We were campaigning against school closures and wanted children to be at the forefront of policy and thought about. So it's really sad that now many parents feel that it's acceptable to take children out when they were campaigning for children to be in school. And it's very much what Mark was talking about. We have said over the last three or four years that actually a day here and there really doesn't matter, that education isn't as important. And as this report says, that parents are balancing other demands. Um, so, yeah, we really need to get back to a world where we, we put education first and we make parents understand and feel it's valuable being in school because at the moment that contract is broken. Yeah. Mark, sorry, I, I just wanted to ask Mark whether there is um, an age consideration. So mm -hmm. is it a lot easier to take your primary uh, school child away on holiday because perhaps the level of teaching isn't as, as intensive um, is that is that better or more excusable than if you did it with a child who's, you know, studying for their GCSEs, perhaps? I think probably the impact would be more immediate for older children that have got exams. But my primary friend would probably be pulling a face at the idea that it's less important than that younger children are in school every day. Every day does count. Like I said, the reason why we send kids to school rather than teaching them at home or have governesses like in the old days is because school is a social process. It is about the joy of having a class of teachers a class of children and an expert at the front of that classroom going through the learning together. So like I said, even if they do just miss a day here and a day there, it does soon rack up and the impact isn't just on your own child, it's the impact on everyone else. And listen, you, you don't have to send your child to school. 
Um, the, the children have a right to an education. They don't have to go to school. But if you do choose to send your child to school and have the government spend six, seven thousand pounds a year on them, rightly so, kind of the deal is for 190 days a year, they are there. And then you've got the other 175 days a year to do other lovely stuff with them. And I know it's a fine. I've got four kids of my own. They're all in school. OK, but, but what about it. you teachers who, who are going on strike? The end result is, uh, is the same. I know your reasoning. You've got what you believe is a very good reason. But the end result is still the same. Kids are missing school. So it's OK for teachers to strike and kids to be off. But it's not OK for parents to make the decision to take them away. Uh, no, listen, the strikes were a disgrace, and I've been on this programme quite a lot saying it was a wrong, it was a wrong reason for strike in the wrong place at the wrong time. The teaching profession, sadly, sorry, let me be specific, some teachers, because only a minority of teachers went on strike, some teachers have undermined all the hard work of the rest of the profession over the years by going on strike, and this is the consequence of their action. And Arabella, um, I know the superb work that us for them did um, to keep schools open, the weaponising of masks, of vaccines, of COVID, the National Education Union, if you remember, uh, were putting out misinformation, um, saying that teachers were more at risk, I think, politically trying to close schools. And of course, parents were left carrying the can. Do you think this, this um, trend of taking kids out of school shows that that kind of that contract, if you like, has kind of been broken, that contract of trust and of respect? I think you're absolutely right. And this has been shown through the Ofsted, um, head of Ofsted has said this, as well as the Children's Commissioner has said this. But what we're finding is that parents find it incredibly insulting to be told they're going to be fined for taking a child out for a day. And yet they can get a week's notice that they have to take a day off work or, in fact, three or four days off work when teachers go on strike or when there's no water getting to your school or when there's you know a concrete in your school and it's a constant it's a constant battle so that social contract of why school is important and as mark talks about why school is a social animal and that was hugely forgotten during the pandemic by saying it's okay to sit at home and sit behind a screen we relegated education to simply the the bare bones of academia and rather the hugely important um, elements of social development OK, um, in the interest of balance, um, so this is to anti-teacher, I asked for comments at the start of today. We've had hundreds and hundreds of comments on this. Um, this is a really interesting one from somebody called Turfy Teacher. I'm a teacher and it's a nightmare if children are off for a week or so. Um, it leaves mm -hmm. the entire class behind. Martin, this is really selfish of you. Mark? Uh, listen, at the end of the day, children belong to their family not to the state or anyone else. So parents must have the final say as to what they do with their children, okay? But what I would say is where people are trying to make decisions about sending their kids to school, if they've made that decision to enrol them at school, they need to abide by the social contract and have them in every day as far as possible. Mm -hmm. There will always be exceptions to that. I totally get that. But generally speaking, unless it really is exceptional, they've got to be in school. And term time holidays, to, for me, don't feel like an exceptional reason to miss that. Mark and uh, Arabella, thank you both. Uh, really interesting discussion. Uh, are you going to do a bit of, I mean, cultural, cultural activities with your kids when I, you go away? I am doing culture and he has some assessments and we're going to do them on holiday. We're going to make sure he keeps on with his schooling. OK.